Now, monkeypox is a rare disease caused by the monkeypox virus, and it can actually cause a rash, which looks like pimples or blisters, and may be accompanied by um, flu-like symptoms. Now, this can be spread through close, personal, and often skin-to-skin -skin contact in three ways. Number one, um, direct contact with monkeypox rash, scabs, and body fluids from a person who is infected with monkeypox. Number two, touching objects, um, fabrics, um, and surfaces that have been used by the person who is infected with mon monkeypox. And number three, contact with respiratory um, secretions. Now, these contacts can also happen during intimate contacts including oral, anal, and vaginal sex or touching the genitals or the anus of a person with monkeypox. It can also happen through hugging, massaging, and kissing, prolonged face-to-face -face contact, and touching fabrics and objects during sex that were used by persons with monkeypox and that have not been disinfected such as bedding, towels, and sex toys. Having multiple or anonymous sex partners may increase your chances of exposure to monkeypox, especially in the areas where the incidence of monkeypox is very high. Therefore, limiting the number of sex partners may reduce the possibility of exposure. Now, there are still ongoing studies whether the virus could be present in the seminal fluid, in vaginal fluids, and in other bodily fluids. Now, you may experience all or only a few of the symptoms of monkeypox. Now, most people will get a rash, and there are some people who will develop a rash before the flu-like symptoms or even just have a rash. Usually, the symptom starts within three weeks of exposure to the virus. The flu-like symptoms may include fever, chills, headache, muscle aches and back aches, sore throat, cough, swollen lymph nodes, and um, extreme exhaustion or tiredness. Now, if someone has flu-like symptoms, they will usually develop a rash within one to four days. And the rash may be located on or near the genitals or the anus, but could also be on other areas like the hands, the feet, chest, or face. The rash will go through several stages, including scabs, before healing. And it could look like a pimple or a blister and may be painful or itchy. The rash may also be inside the body, including the mouth, vagina, or anus. Monkeypox can actually spread from the time symptoms start until the rash has completely healed, all the scabs have fallen off, and a fresh layer of, of skin has formed. And this actually takes several weeks, so around two to four weeks to be exact. So just a reminder, if you have a new or unexplained rash or other symptoms, please avoid having sex and being intimate with anyone until you get checked by your doctor. There are no treatments specifically for monkeypox infections at the present time. However, since monkeypox and smallpox are genetically similar, then this means that the antiviral drugs and vaccines developed to protect against smallpox may be used to prevent and treat monkeypox infection. Now, the antiviral drug called tecoviramat may be recommended for people who are more likely to get severely ill, like patients with weakened immune system. Presently, there are two vaccines that may be used to prevent monkeypox infection, namely the Gineos or J-Y-N-N-E-O-S and the ACAM 2000. And to date, CDC has several vaccine strategies to prevent monkeypox. One, namely the post-exposure prophylaxis, wherein CDC recommends that the vaccine be given within four days from the date of exposure. This is to ensure the best chance to prevent the onset of the disease. However, if it is given between day 4 to day 14, it will actually reduce the symptoms but may not prevent the disease from occurring. They also advised that you should couple this with self-isolation and other preventive measures. Let me just quickly read to you the CDC isolation and prevention practices. Now, the CDC recommends that people with monkeypox remain isolated at home or in another location for the duration of the illness, meaning for two to four weeks. However, if a person with monkeypox is unable to remain fully isolated throughout the illness, they should do the following. While symptomatic with fever or any respiratory symptoms including sore throat, nasal congestion or cough, they should remain isolated unless it is necessary to see a healthcare provider 
Um, this in, in which case they should avoid close or physical contact with other people and animals. They should cover the lesions, wear a well-fitting mask, and avoid public transportation. Now, while the rash persists with the absence of fever or respiratory symptoms, they must cover all parts of the rash with clothing, gloves, or bandages, and wear a well-fitting mask. And until all signs and symptoms of monkeypox illness have fully resolved, they should not share items that have been worn or handled with other people or animals. Disinfect and wash all items and areas that they have come in close contact with. Avoid physical contacts. Avoid sharing utensils and cups. Avoid crowded places. And wash hands often with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer.